Happy International Women's Day. Here's the state of some women and gender issues in the Philippines in three minutes, starting with some recent victories. Just yesterday, March 7, President Rodrigo Duterte signed the bill raising the age of sexual consent from 12 to 16. This means that anyone engaging in sex with someone below 16 is automatically guilty of rape. When the Philippines' minimum age of sexual consent was 12, it was the lowest in Southeast Asia and one of the lowest in the world. The Philippines also banned child marriage this January. The measure imposes penalties on the facilitation and solemnization of child marriage as well as cohabitation of an adult with a child outside of wedlock. The bill prohibiting offline and online forms of child sexual exploitation is set for negotiation at the bicameral conference in Congress as of January 31. This bill aims to fill in the gaps of current laws related to the online sexual exploitation of children or OSEC. For instance, the 2009 anti-child pornography law does not explicitly cover the live streaming of sexual content nor the role of social media in blocking OSEC. In June 2021, President Duterte declared the prevention of teenage pregnancies a national priority in the Philippines. In 2020, the Philippines recorded a 13% drop in births among adolescent mothers. This set a record for the sharpest decrease in births under women under 20 since 2003. Now here are some women and gender issues that are still seeing slow progress in the Philippines. Catholic-majority Philippines remains to be the only country in the world where divorce is banned. There are three ways to end a marriage in the country, declaration of nullity, annulment, and legal separation. These have very limited grounds. There are also rampant annulment scams, making it difficult for the poor to access these remedies. These are the presidential candidates in favor of divorce. The Philippines has restrictive laws on abortion. According to the Philippine Safe Abortion Advocacy Network, at least three women die every day from complications related to unsafe abortions. One in eight women and girls who induce abortion are rape survivors. These are the presidential candidates in favor of decriminalizing abortion. Philippine lawmakers still find it contentious that people should not be discriminated against based on their sexual orientation, gender, identity, and expression. The SOGI bill has been repeatedly filed in Congress for more than 20 years. These are the presidential candidates who want the SOGI bill passed. As we've seen with divorce, Philippine lawmakers are still conservative about their views on marriage. Same-sex marriage still seems to be off the table as there are no pending bills in Congress pushing for their legalization. Here's the one presidential candidate in favor of legalizing same-sex marriage. Have your 2022 candidates outlined their platform for women's rights?